first and seven june 2021 it says the first three figures in a sequence of shapes formed by connecting the lines of unit length are shown below and part a says draw figure four of the pattern so we realize that it's just that in each instance uh basically what's that one two one two three four five lines are added to the old lines so you'd have had what this this is sequence it is starting section one of the syllabus sequence so this is what figure four would look like the so same three from figure three and you're just adding another one to it so this is our figure four and we got our two marks there I think those are usually easy to figure out. This now is where the challenge usually is. But what I usually tell students is the first thing that you should do is to derive your formula, which is usually this N. What N, whenever you see N on your table, all they want you to do is to write the formulas here. Can anybody tell me what the formula for the number of lines is? Formula for the number of lines. So I usually, oh, you derive the formula you look at what is consistent and you multiply that by n 5n plus 1 very good alisa so for this is how alisa got 5n plus 1 guys so from 6 to 11 there's a difference of 5 so 6 7 8 9 10 11 but there's a difference of 5 from 11 to 16 there's another difference of 5 so 11 12 13 14 15 16 so this, because five is consistent, we multiply N. Remember, N is the same as our figure number. So you say five N, and then you test your formula. If I say five times one, what I get is five, but what I really needed was six. If I say five times two, I get 10, but what I really needed was 11. If I say five times three, I get 15, but what I really needed was 16. So what you'll realize is that in each instance, I am always short by one. So therefore, I can now put add one to this formula and test it again. So five times one is five plus one gives me six. Now I see that I'm correct. Five times two is 10 plus one, that gives me 11. Now I'm correct. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1, that will give me 16. So now I realize that indeed my formula is 5n plus 1 here. And I can use this formula now to solve for any number of lines. Usually they would probably give more missing lines for you to solve. But the point is, once you know your general formula, then you, you can solve it any question that they gave you. So for a parameter, what would be your general formula for a parameter? General formula for a parameter? three n plus two 
So if you realize from five to eight, it increased by three. And from eight to 11, we increase by three again. So we can multiply n by three. Now testing our formula. Three times n, so three times one is three, but what we really needed was five, so we were short by two. Three times two is six, but what we really needed was eight, so again we were short by two. Three times three is nine, but what we really wanted was 11, so again we were short by two. So we realize that if we do three n plus two, then we will always get the general formula. So we have 3n plus 2. This would be our mark here. So we got our two marks. So therefore, if our figure number is 5, what is the number of lines? So figure number of 5, what is the number of lines? Twenty six. So what you did is five times five plus one. So it is five fives, twenty five plus one, and we will get twenty six. So that is how we got twenty six here. What would be the parameter? when the figure number is five, 17. So what we'll do is three times five plus two. So three fives, 15 plus two, and that gives us 17. All right, so now we'll, this will require some amount of transposing, but they gave us the number of lines to be 66. So what would be the figure number? So remember our formula would be 5n, so it is 5n plus 1 is equal to 6. Very good, 13. So if you have 5n plus 1, you're expected that that should give us 66. So now solving, it is... 5n is equal to 66 minus 1, which will give us 65. So 5n is equal to 65. And now solving for n, it means that n is equal to 65 over 5, and that will give us 13. And what is the parameter? Forty one. So all you did was to put thirteen now into our formula of three times thirteen plus two, and indeed you will get forty one. And this is your completed table. So let me just give you a second for those who probably are still looking. So that is our completed table. So part C now says, Write a simplified expression in terms of n for the difference between the number of lines and um, the parameter of any figure. So they want us to write an expression in terms of n for the difference between the number of lines, which is L minus P. A lot of students didn't answer this last year, but the difference Remember now the formula that we got for lines? It would have been 5n plus 1 minus p, which is 3n 
plus two. So what this would give us is D is equal to 5N plus 1. This would have been what? Minus 3N minus 2. And now you can solve. So D is equal to, we can group or like terms, 5N minus 3N plus 1 minus 2. So therefore, D is equal to 5 minus 3N. That will leave us with 2 n and one minus two that will leave us with minus one so they're telling us that the relationship between the number of lines and the parameter can be found using this formula of two minus one and we can go up top and check it will two n minus one give us the difference between the two so if we look six minus five that will give us one or n value is one so two times one is 2 minus 1 that will give us 1. So indeed, that formula is correct. So this is what it will look like. So you can take a minute and observe that one. <laughs> 